You want to know what real life nursing is all about? This is the Daily Round Show by NRSNG.com. Hey guys, it's Susan with NRSNG. I wanted to talk to you about alternative methods for memorizing your lab values. And it's funny I should use the word memorizing because oftentimes that's really difficult and doesn't help at all. So what I suggest you guys do instead is to take out lab values based on the system and try and learn what that lab value is doing for your body. So why, why do I need to know this lab value? You know, electrolytes is a really large large one. Why do I need to know potassium? Well, potassium is a muscle contracting agent. It can cause fluid balance issues. It can cause your heart to contract too much because your heart's a giant muscle. So there's a lot of things you need to know about potassium. And once you start really working in on what is potassium, then you can start looking at the numbers. I definitely had a hard time with memorizing all the time. I mean, I felt like they just were basically like, okay, this week you have to learn lab values and here you go. Here's all the values you need to know. And if you get it wrong on a test, uh oh, but I, I would take it uh, group by group. So memorizing your electrolyte for a whole week, not even just a day, a whole week I would spend a time memorizing that lab value and then move on to the next set of lab values. You could do a CBC and just take time memorizing why do I need to know what hematocrit and um, hemoglobin and all of these things are? What does it mean for the body? And then moving on to the numbers. How do they measure out? What What is a deciliter? Things like that. And so once you really separate how things are measured out and how you actually are getting the value and what it means for your body, it can also help you to remember what it is that you have tried to memorize. Alternatively, I did sometimes, I know a lot of people uh, will have silly little sayings or things that they did to help remind themselves how to remember all of these lab values. And one of the things that I did uh, that I remember specifically for muscle contraction is that you need calcium and potassium, C-A-K, which to me sounded a lot like cake, and I do like cake. In order to eat cake, I have to contract muscles to bring the cake to my mouth. So that helped me remember which labs were used for uh, muscle contraction. And then for muscle relaxation, I it's you ha need to have magnesium in order for that to happen, for your muscles to relax. So I thought, Magnesium's kind of like a magazine and I would read a magazine when I'm trying to chill out, maybe get my toenails done or maybe get my hair done. I would be reading a, a magazine and so magazine, magnesium, relax. That's kind of how I thought about it. So if you can find little ways like that to just kind of go through and figure out what it is that makes the connection for you personally. Oh, another one. Um, I, I remember chloride was like 98 to 106, I believe is the um, correct value for chloride. And I thought, well, chloride is kind of like chlorine and chlorine goes in a pool and I don't go in a pool unless it's like 98 degrees outside. So that really helped me remember that that chloride was a higher value number. I hope that that really helps you out. You should check out our nursing mnemonics podcast. Um, and we also have cheat sheets that are nursing mnemonics. You should check that out too, because that'll definitely help you uh, memorize or not really memorize, but learn and figure out what it is that is gonna click and make it work for you. Good luck, you guys.